All right, guys, we're back for part three. I'm gonna try to get set up over here. Um, real quick, so I've uh, got the transmission drained. Um, get ready to measure it out. Kind of explain my process there. Uh, give me a little bit of a rundown um, on our transmission service. So uh, we only use right now, um, the, only sort, the only filter we can source right now is for the 10R80. Um, we sourced this one with a VIN number from a 2023 Raptor. Um, the reason for that is because uh, we, we have found over the years as the, 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 the if, you look, if you look up this VIN through Ford, that filter is getting harder and harder to find because it's a, a different part number. I think it's a, a F, F231. Uh, this is F2, FT215. There's also an FT202. But I think that one is going to get discontinued or uh, re replaced, you know, superseded uh, with the new ones. Um, I'll, I'll show you here in a minute uh, the difference between those. Um, not a big significant difference and whatnot. So we drain all the fluid. We, we pull the pan and pull the filter and then we drain the fluid. And then because you guys, the customers, uh, like it so much, this is a 2020. This is a factory fill. Um, you guys can't see it from there. Hopefully you can hear me just fine. I'm not used to doing videos like this with the camera so far away, but that fluid is definitely, even in the sunlight, uh, is not translucent at all. So that's 60,000 miles. Uh, that's definitely a toast, uh, or it's used up. I shouldn't say toast. Uh, definitely overdoing our opinion. So uh, right there, we've got just a fuzz, just a fuzz over four and a half quarts. Now, in our opinion, that is. Uh, just a fuzz too low. Uh, that's the minimum fill. I know some of you guys have asked about the fill level in the quartz. Um, and I don't know if you can see this or not on the camera, but if not, so basically when you're when you're measuring this with your dipstick at home, um, typically we find this when it's four and a half quarts. We find that it's down here on this part of the dipstick around four and a half to five. So uh, what we do is we put five and a half quarts back in it, and that brings the level up to about two and a half to three. Uh, and this is that hot fill. Um, if you were to check this at cold, it would be slightly lower. Um, again, it could because when it warms up, it, it, it rises up. So typically, we're at three at cold fill, and then by the time it warms up, we're at two and a half. Now, how did I figure all this out? Why do I make these suggestions? Um, we've had a bunch of these at the shop uh, in Monroe, Ohio. That's where our home base is uh, for 1320 Synthetics. It's there in Monroe, uh, right off I-75. So we got a bunch of, a couple of STs in there, and I went through the daunting process of up and down the lift, up and down the lift, putting a half quart in, uh, checking it cold, checking it hot, letting it cool down, warming it up again. We run it with temp guns. Uh, we did the whole shebang. I, I know the, these techs, these master techs on the forum that work for Ford, they try to, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call them out. They try to deceive people into believing that they can't service their own vehicle um, because there's not a dipstick or it takes some special procedure. Uh, listen, the, the high, transmission fluid and hydraulic fluid is not that unpredictable. It's actually very predictable in its expansion, um, depending on the volume you have. This is a very small sump capacity, so expansion is extremely minimal. Again, where we're seeing this is from that little mark to, to, to just a, a tiny hair on the, on the level. Uh, it goes up maybe a, an eighth of an inch uh, to three sixteenths of an inch inside the transmission once it warms up. Um, this is not something like, oh my God, I overfilled it. Um, and fun fact is most, most transmission builders, especially in the aftermarket world, uh, well, I'll tell you to run a quart over full anyways. Um, I'm not a real big proponent of that one. I think it's, I think you can find out the max fill um, and you can run that. We found that at five and a half quarts, we're hitting that mark over and over again. Um, filter wise, fluid wise. So we're mixing the fluid. I know some of you guys had concerns with mixing the fluids. So in our opinion, we're putting in a, a, a premium upgraded product with Amsoil. Um, so that the factory fluid that is in there uh, is in fact diluting the AMS oil. Um, so whereas the, the AMS oil it typically is good for two times OEM or two times OEM intervals, which I think in this case would be 60,000 miles, um, we drop that back down to about 50,000, um, and that's severe severe mileage as well. Um, is that is that the best case scenario? No, but again, some new fluid versus never changing it uh, is a big upgrade. Uh, so you can put some factory, you know, the, the exact same fluid back in there. Um, 
you're not going to notice much of a difference because you've got old you got the same fluid and in one hand it's wore out and in one hand it's, it's brand new uh, so it's not going to be much of a difference now if you use something that's got some really uh, high quality um, high technology uh, additives and base stocks like we find with the amsoil uh, this is going to be able to, to withstand the, the the oh shoot the cross contamination it's going to be okay with the cross contamination is it ideal no but is it going to somehow make the product not capable of what they advertise absolutely not we've got oil analysis for years on end from trucks big trucks suvs same fluid this is the same fluid that race teams like bryce menzes uses uh chuckles garage on instagram yeah th this is th these are high quality products that race teams use and and amsoil being a private company offers these products to the consumer there's no tricks or gimmicks you don't have to pay no special you don't have to be nobody special to get high quality fluids with with amsoil it's the same fluids everybody is offered and it meets and exceeds all your OEM specs and will outperform those and we can verify that with oil analysis. If you'd like to do oil analysis on your own vehicle, please reach out to us and let us know. Uh, but I will say that oil analysis is not designed to compare fluids. It is designed to see if the fluid you're using is doing as it's performed within your vehicle and to see if there's any external wears, excessive wears, um, or in the case of the engine, if there's any fuel dilution, um, we can kind of see that with an oil analysis. It's not designed to compare oils. Um, real quick, we'll wrap this up. I've got like six minute video. Here's my longest yet. Um, we're gonna put five and a half quarts back in it. So the big difference in the filters, uh, the OEM filter, uh, you can't see it from there, let me bring it up. Uh, it's just gonna be pretty basic. It's got a little funnel there. So, and then the pan on the 10R60, you can see that in the mirror. These two magnets right here, that's on the 10R60. On the 10R80, uh, what not be with this factory pan, there's only one magnet in the pan, and then they slipped a second magnet inside the filter. So that's where the 10R80 still has two magnets. There's one in the pan, one in the filter. Uh, for you guys that get this filter, um, you're going to end up with two magnets in the pan and one in the filter. So you get a third magnet, that's the big, uh, that's the big upgrade with this filter. Uh, really it comes down to price and availability for us um, as we're traveling um, we can only source some of these at a time we can get about five or six at a time um, so we take what we can get uh, the filter media inside is identical we've cut these open we've inspected them there is uh, in this little area right here uh, there's two rows of synthetic media and then the rest is regular filtration this is not a screen there is in fact a filter inside there just like you find in your fil oil filter this does need to be serviced. We recommend this every 50,000 miles with the fluid. Um, even if you have a PPE pan, um, we still recommend the filter every 50,000. Typically, these are only going to filter out down to about 100 micron um, to 200 micron. Uh, because these are suction filters, they have to be high flow. So the filtration efficiency is not like you would find in an oil filter of around 20 micron. Uh, or at least with the Amsoil filters, we're at 20 micron. Um, everyone else is just trying to keep up. But, so this filter needs to be changed. Um, it, it is a high flow. For comparison, uh, a human hair is 100 micron thick. Uh, red blood cell is five micron. So this is not capturing very much at all as far as filtration goes in, in our world. So service this, this is cheap insurance. Uh, if you're having any kind of issues with your transmission, uh, with shifting, downshifting, um, any, any of the above. This, this is a, a premium upgrade, fresh fluid, fresh filter. Um, even on a stock application, you're going to see improved fuel economy um, and maximum efficiency. And that's the name of the game here. Guys, we're not trying to re reinvent the wheel. We're not trying to... We, we, we sell the product. We advertise what we are. We, we maximize the efficiency down the road. Um, we keep the vehicle running like new. Um, our, our mentality is proactive, not reactive. We like to get in front of this um, you know, say if it's a brand new vehicle, um, it comes to us, uh, our buddy Aaron, our very first customer Aaron, was, our customer ever was Aaron and Renee. They had the, the only green Explorer we've ever worked on. So at 1,500 miles, they brought it to us. We drained the factory oil, put AMS oil in it, and it had it in there from the engine every front moving forward. And then at 20,000 miles, we dumped all the factory fluids throughout the powertrain uh, and upgraded those. And then um, we didn't do the filter at 20,000. But then at 50,000, we did all the fluids and the transmission filter again. And then we can repeat that every 50,000 as needed. Um, I will point out before I get off the video that 
If you guys want to do this at home, you absolutely are more than welcome to. If a dealership tells you you're not allowed to, fire that dealership and find a new one. Um, but real quick, I want to point out, so we use a pump over there uh, for motive power fill. Um, if you don't have one of those, you don't want to spend the money to get one. Um, you don't have to, but it makes it easier on those because the bigger the jug, the cheaper the fluid is per quart. Um, and we try to maximize our profits and our uh, as best as we can. Um, it also cuts down on trash uh, storage. These also make great used oil containers. Anyways, you guys at home, we can ship you these in the quart bottle. Uh, same with the severe gear and for the front and rear and the transmission fluid for the, for the uh, transfer case. With those, we have our specialty pump. It usually comes in a box. Um, I do this because I travel with it. It keeps it clean. Um, but you can definitely use this on all of these bottles and you can do this project at home. Um, if you guys have any questions or concerns about lift points, uh, ramps and anything at all do you want to do this project at home please 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 do not hesitate to reach out to us we can ship you oil change kits all-wheel drive bundles uh, anywhere in the US it costs a little extra in Hawaii and Alaska but anywhere in the continental US we can ship for free on orders over $100 um, once those orders go through you have access to a preferred customer account with Amsoil this account guarantees you absolute guaranteed lowest prices on all your Amsoil products on any vehicle you own for as long as that account is open. Um, these accounts, even if you log in and order on your own, they are assigned to us and we get a nice little commission from those. And we 100% appreciate that support. So if you guys want one of these kits, any kind of vehicle, oil change, uh, powertrain bundles, you name it, uh, we can help you source it. Uh, thanks again for supporting 1320 Synthetics. Um, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, we're on YouTube, but I don't post too much there. Definitely on TikTok, uh, but Facebook and Instagram is our big ones. Uh, thanks for all the support. We're going to wrap this up. Um, we're going to put it back in its parking spot. Uh, we left the owner a nice little gift in the cup holder. Um, and we 100% appreciate the opportunity, Blake. Um, unfortunately, we wasn't able to catch up with you today, um, but I'm sure we will catch up to you again soon as we will be launching ST versus the world 2024. Next year, we are trying to lock down a location right now, but it is coming. So stay tuned and thanks guys.